Hey, this is Ted with Commute My Bike, and I'm here with Tim Blumenthal of Bikes Belong. And uh, I came up here, and there's a very celebratory mood here at the uh, booth at Interbike. What just happened, Tim? Well, Senator Tom Coburn from Oklahoma, who was threatening to try to kill $500 million a year in transportation enhancements funding, about $250 million a year in bike project funding, he just withdrew his proposed amendment, and now that funding is guaranteed at least for another six months. And what were the reasons he gave for withdrawing his objections? Well, I think uh, there was an overwhelmingly negative reaction from the other 99 U.S. Senators who received 50,000 emails in the last three days from people who support bicycling, and they were bombarded by phone calls that were made here at Interbike by bike business leaders, and in some, he realized that this was truly unpopular and that he wasn't going to win. So, the existing funding has been uh, extended for another six months, so what happens in five months? Uh, we're back to work actually in five minutes, but in five months um, a lot of the same debates will happen except for one thing because uh, Coburn's amendment was defeated this time, it makes it more difficult for him or anyone else to come back with the same kind of message. And his message was, this government running this deficit can't can, uh, afford cost-effective investments in bicycling, and every dollar of transportation needs to be put into roadway construction and roadway repair. But we know that four billion bike trips are made a year in the United States. States, and we're talking about 13% of the trips that Americans make are either on foot or by bike, and it only requires 1.5% of the money to support them. So it's very cost effective, it's real transportation, it's, it's a solution. Individuals who ride bikes save money, governments at every, at every level save money when people ride bikes. So I think our messaging has been really clear and really strong, and I think that this will have long term positive effects in our ability to preserve government of understanding and support for bicycles. So it's a pretty big day. Thank you for riding your bike anytime, anywhere, and uh, you know, if you're doing it, um, you're reaping all the benefits. And you know, we all know when people ride bikes, great things happen. And so sh share that enthusiasm, that's one. Second, uh, we have this campaign that's called peopleforbikes.org, and we have 350,000 Americans who basically signed a pledge saying, I like bicycling, I'd like it to be safe, I'd like it to be convenient. So if you haven't signed the People for Bikes pledge, sign it. Uh, it's free, it's easy, we don't bombard you with emails, we don't ask for money. We just want you to be part of the group of American people who respect and revere and like bicycling and want to see it continue. So there's that and uh, you know, you don't really have to become a political animal or somebody deeply immersed in the uh, all the different legislation. It's just ride a bike, smile, be predictable when you ride, uh, be nice to people, and uh, and when you get to work or the store or school or wherever you're going, um, smile because uh, you've just enjoyed a good bike ride and you're lucky and um, you're energized and you're healthier and uh, hopefully you have a clearer mind and it's not a bad thing.